Hello, and welcome to the University of Alberta's opening up copyright instructional module on how copyright relates to other types of intellectual property. Did you know that copyright is only one type of intellectual property, or IP, and that there are about a dozen other forms of intellectual property protection? Often, IP issues are discrete and deal with just a single category of IP. However, in some instances, the lines can be blurred and what we might consider to be a copyright issue may also be a trademark, patent, or industrial design issue. Copyright and patent tend to be the two best known forms of IP. Traditionally, copyright has protective creative works, first written materials, and then other forms of creative expressions like sound recordings, films, and even software. Patents protect inventive works, such as building a better mousetrap. Patents can also be issued for new chemical compositions, machines, or processes for developing new and better products or improvements to any of these. Compared to copyright, patents have shorter terms of protection, fewer exceptions for unauthorized use, and are granted by a national patent office, whereas copyright protection is automatic. Patents are the oldest modern form in intellectual property, with the first patent statute being passed by the city-state of Venice in 1474. While copyright and patents may seem distinct, there are circumstances where the question, is this a copyright or patent issue, can be unclear. For example, the creation of software code can generate both patent and copyright issues. While code is considered a literary work and protected by copyright, it is also possible to patent business methods that are embodied in computer programs. A good example of the overlap between patent and copyright is Amazon's one-click checkout method, where your payment method and shipping address are loaded with a single click based on your account. The underlying software that executes the one-click purchase is protected by copyright, but Amazon has also patented, contentiously in both Canada and the US, the business process of one-click purchasing. Amazon's one-click also illustrates copyright's relation to another type of intellectual property protection, trademarks. While copyright protection will generally not apply to a name, a name can be protected as a trademark. Trademarks can protect a combination of words, sounds, or designs used to distinguish goods and services from others in a market. In the case of one click, it is the specific combination of one using the numeral combined with the word click that is covered by the trademark. Trademark protection helps ensure that brands can protect themselves against counterfeiting and sabotage from rivals. For example, Pepsi can't put some noxious chemical solution in a can and market it as Coca-Cola because it would be infringing on Coke's trademark, and likely a few other laws. Similarly, you can't start your own beverage company and market your drinks as Coke slash Pepsi just to increase sales. As you can tell from these examples, trademark protection is primarily about protecting reputation, whereas patents and copyright are primarily about providing creators or inventors with an incentive for distributing their works. These different justifications for IP protection help distinguish between trademarks on one hand and patents and copyrights on the other. In some cases, copyright issues may also intersect with industrial design. Industrial design protection is a long established form of IP. Industrial designs are similar to patents in that they require registration, but rather than protecting inventiveness of a product or process, they protect the visual features of shape, configuration, pattern, or ornament, or any combination of these applied to a finished product. Historically, industrial designs have been viewed as the poor cousin of the IP family and have generally attracted less attention than patents, copyrights, and trademarks. The interaction between copyright and industrial design is covered in section 64 of the Copyright Act, which may be the most poorly written section of the entire act. In short, when a creative object is manufactured, in quantities of 50 or more, one should consider whether industrial design protections are implicated. In the Canadian context, copyright issues sometimes overlap with patent, trademark, and industrial design concerns. In other jurisdictions, there might be more IP overlap to consider. Over the past century, several new forms of IP protection have come into being in certain jurisdictions, covering a range of intellectual works. These new forms of IP are often called sui generis forms of protection. Some of these newer forms of IP have broader international adoption, while other new IP mechanisms are more regional in the scope of their protection. For example, in the European Union, sui generis protection for databases was included in the 1996 Database Directive. This differs from the Canadian context, where the arrangement of data may be protected by copyright, 
but the underlying data is not. Finally, there are several other forms of IP that exist that don't have much of a relation to copyright. These include the protection of plant breeders' rights for new species and varieties of plants, semiconductor layouts, domain names, ship hull designs, and even the Olympic rings, which are protected by their own international treaty. You should now be able to understand the relationship among copyright and other intellectual properties, identify where a copyright issue or concern may involve trademark, patent, or industrial design issues, and list the type of intellectual property protection in Canada. This has been the University of Alberta's opening up copyright module on other types of intellectual property. Thank you for your attention.